carabiners and how to use them. Well, obviously, carabiners have a lot of different uses. Around the campsite, uh, they can be used for clipping things in, uh, holding things, uh, raising things up out of the, out of the area of, for animals and things like that, as in your bear bags and stuff, stuff like that. Basically, there's a couple of shapes. This is a locking D-shaped carabiner, or pear-shaped carabiner, I'm sorry. This is an unlocking D carabiner. Uh, so most of these carabiners, they can either lock down so that they can't open again, or they um, have an open gate. Now, these are usually used to connect things to things. So in this case, I could connect my tent fly to another piece of webbing and there it would be all connected nice and easy, okay? Now, I'm not teaching you how to use these for climbing purposes today. That's a whole nother subject, but these are useful lightweight tools around a campsite. You can use them for clipping your gear to your backpack. Uh, like I said earlier, um, for stringing gear bags. Uh, if I had a bag full of clothes or, uh, or food that I wanted to raise up out of the area. Um, I could uh, get, a, get a rope between two trees, clip this into that rope, clip the food bag into it. Food bags in. Raise the rope so that now the food bag is off the ground so that the bears can't get it and things like that. So there's a lot of very useful uh, reasons to have a couple of carabiners with you on a camping trip. Um, if you're going to use them for safety purposes, for rigging ropes and rappelling and climbing and things like that, uh, take a class and, and learn how to use them uh, properly for that type of application. But they are handy little gizmos uh, for tying your dog out and uh, connecting things uh, for a variety of different reasons.